Four proposed constitutional amendments will be on the November 18th ballots, including Amendment 3, which states, Do you support an amendment to authorize the local governing authority of a parish to provide an ad valorem tax exemption for qualified first responders? The proposed amendment has voters like local radio show host Josh Godwin conflicted. Our first responders deserve the love for sure, but just got to do your homework. With the amendment, the Public Affairs Research Council lists the additional property tax break as a way to help recruit and retain people in needed first responder jobs. State Representative of District 27 Mike Johnson says Rapids Parish could use the help. It may or may not fit with Rapids Parish, but there's no question we need to do something for our first responders. Local parish governing authorities would be in charge of choosing to adopt $25,000 in tax exemptions or less of the home value for qualified first responders. Godwin says he wants to be cautious about where his tax dollars are going. Uh, I support first responders, obviously. I'd want them, you know, to get breaks if they can. I do worry about funds going to the right place that they're getting voted for. PAR notes that special property tax breaks erode the dollars available to local government to provide needed services and shift the tax burden to fewer taxpayers. An extra tax exemption for first responders would decrease the tax revenue available to school systems and other local agencies. Johnson says he thinks parishes like Rapides would operate in the manner of best interest for their communities and not take money away from schools. And the bigger concern is adding to an already long list of tax exemptions. And they're right. We have uh, thousands of, of exemptions and, and credits and things like that in our code. And I think their general opposition was just in general. It's not that it's not a good-willed effort, uh, a good intended effort but that it, that it just adds to that list of exemptions. Eligible first responders would include sheriffs, police officers, and other deputized as peace officers, firefighters, including volunteer firefighters who meet specific criteria, certified EMS workers, emergency operators and dispatchers, and other full-time public employees involved with rapid emergency response. As November 18th approaches, Godwin has simple advice to fellow voters. I would just say everyone do their research. Brandon Brown, ABC 31 News, that works for you.